Today we are doing Little Shop Manufacturing uh, Brake Conversions Kit on the 93. It did have rear brakes, uh, or it had rear brakes, duh. It had drums on the back. Uh, so we're doing the disc brakes conversion. Right here we're doing, we're going to go back in time. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of time machine action. And we're going to show you how I chose to do it. Amateur tip, cutting things off. Horrible idea. And how I got it done in like two minutes. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. We've got to take this backing plate off because it's now worthless. There's two ways of doing it. One, we can cut it off, which is what we're going to do. Or two, you can drain everything out of your differential and you can pull your axle and just unbolt it and slide it up. You're not going to want to do that in your driveway. We don't want to do that here. So we're just going to get to cutting. And it's a lot more fun, yeah? There's a whole lot of cut. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> it was not. Itself, but once you get it pretty close down in there, you're gonna have to raise up on it a little bit. Why don't you put the uh, what's called on first? Well, it's C shaped, right? Yeah, yeah, if it's C shaped, it should just slide around it. The reason I want to get all this done first is I want to get out of there and get all this oil off me that I don't need. Um, that's it. Zen. The old seat clip over right here. Set her in there like so. And then you ask Will if he can pull out on the axle shaft very easily. Yes. Yep. Yes, Dougie. Or Dougie. Sorry, Dougie. All right, that's it. Good. And then you take this pin, and it's all kind of nice and lubed up. We're going to leave it lubed up like that. Doesn't matter which side the threads are on on this guy. There's no threads on this side. Threads are in the housing. So you just uh, put it in the hole, and I like to rotate it to where it's lined up. And uh, it's got got to drop right back in the bucket of oil again just so it's lubed up, and then we just line it up in spotter gears. <laughs> There you go, lined up the spiders all the way through the hole. Last check to make sure it's in straight. Bam, it's where we want it. Grab the old Bolo Tito over here and line it up and have it back in place. Wham. Just putting the cat back on for now. I'm not recording it. I'm going to change the gears out. I've got to put a locker set up in it. But for now, I'm just going to put it back in place so nothing gets lost. Plus. Usually Dougie has a whole other stuff that's lost all over the place. <laughs> it's not me that loses things. Uh -huh. Trust me. Uh -huh.
What do you think, dude? Um, I like it. I like it. You fight with everything you install. Um, sometimes, you know, you just get that. But when you're doing stuff like this, this is a, a conversion kit. They sell just about everything on the market, from your cheap eBay kits to the most expensive kits, and most of them fit right. Um, what you get into is quality and the components it comes with, and these are amazing. It's got good fasteners, good hardware, all the holes line up, everything's in the right place. Like some of those eBay kits you get, you're like, man, this really didn't work after the parts store, got something else. You don't have that with these guys. Great quality kit, good brakes, they go right together. It's the right part, always the right thing. I like it. We're going to use them all the time. We're not going to show what the building tire is look like, so it's real. So for now, the stoppers are working. So, we just installed our brand used Maypop <laughs> brand tires. Um, they're really good tires. Um, Maypop's the brand, Maypop today, Maypop tomorrow. <laughs> they're going to hold for now. So, we previously found out that we had ordered the wrong calipers for the front brake kit conversion. Um, we got the right stuff in today. So here we go, unboxing it with the proper tools. Just completed this front brake kit from Little Shop Manufacturing. Check it out. It's great. They're the go-to place to get these things. So today, we're not going to finish by putting the calipers on because we're rebuilding those, getting them painted. Um, no, need, no need to spend 200 and some odd dollars on calipers when those work just fine, cheap and good. Little camera. A little bit of rattle can be just great. So that's how we're going to finish it up today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our YouTube, Truck 180. Wow, come on, get it. <laughs>